so let me ask you this how much sex can you have if you want to have sex how much can you have have you wondered about this question let me share a story with you here i actually was listening to a podcast interview with this guy john gray if you don't know john gray you are missing a lot in your life because this guy is so smart he is funny and he is very just like the best guy ever he knows all about relationship between men and women and if you don't know who john gray is you probably have heard about his book called men are from mars women are from venus he wrote that 25 years ago i think and he still like produces books pretty much almost every year he just came out with a new one so check it out his work and he was talking about some things that really caught my attention here and that's why I want to share with you he was talking about how to improve the relationship between men and women especially into the emotional side he knows a lot about psychology so he was giving a lot of tips related to that but also he was focusing on the physical level meaning he was all the time throughout the interview mentioning about estrogen and testosterone okay those if you don't know those are two hormones produced by our, our body related to the sex okay that are very very important it's a must actually one thing that I learned is that we see life through the lens of our hormones so if our, we are out of balance with our hormones it's going to be very very difficult to, to have a good life and estrogen and testosterone are one of those things but anyway here I just want to mention to you this thing here that he was talking about how much sex can you have especially for the guys here do you wake up in the morning and you have to have like you have to be able to have sex if you want to okay and if you're not able to have that that simply means that your health is not in check so the message here is not even about how much sex can you have you should be able to have sex every day if you wish to and for the ladies here as well if you're not feeling that your libido is not in place you just don't feel like attractive to have sex anymore this my friends is just a sign that your body is giving to you that your health is in low level so what do you do you understand the signs that your body is giving and you make changes accordingly there is a lot of things to be done in order for you to increase your hormonal levels to increase your testosterone if you're low in testosterone and increase your estrogen for the ladies who are low in estrogen okay so you have to check in yourself how is your libido on a day-to-day -day basis here because you should be able to have sex every day if you wish to okay check yourself that's your assignments for today make sure you understand there is a huge connection between your sex and your health that's actually one of the first places one of the first fields to look into your life right now it's your sexual life if it's not there it's just a sign that you are in low level of health okay so that's your assignment for today and of course you can click the link below here to start a health journey that's going to be helping you produce better hormonal levels okay so click below this video and or just go to brazilianhealthnet.com to register for the free five-day mini course where I'm gonna be teaching you how to improve your hormonal levels by changing your diet and by changing just your some 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 action easy steps that you can do it okay the link is right below and of course if you like this share this with your friends share this with your family I will see you soon remember take action so that you can also burn fats forever transform your body to live your dreams peace